Uh, good evening, John Puntany here, and uh, uh, today uh, I would like to talk about empathy, um, especially as it relates to Asperger's syndrome and Elon Musk. Um, so, uh, first off, uh, empathy, um, or in a nutshell, uh, just the ability to understand one another's feelings. So you put yourself in another person's shoes. Um, in this case, uh, uh, def definitely a fun example when it's someone you have a lot of respect for and uh, definitely are able to relate to um, some of their experiences, especially in the case of Elon Musk, which uh, uh, if you need a fun and quick reference from this past Saturday, uh, click on the link and uh, watch uh, Elon Musk's uh, fun, hilarious, uh, monologue on Saturday Night Live where uh, he happened to disclose that he has Asperger's Syndrome, uh, just like me. And uh, um, uh, that said, um, uh, there are some uh, things that were definitely relatable, even if uh, it was on a different scale, uh, was a uh, uh, disclosing that you have Asperger's, uh, or for that matter, any form on the autism spectrum, uh, I'm not going to lie, it's pretty nerve-wracking, um, especially uh, when you have no idea how people are going to react. And uh, um, for me, like bringing it up in college, uh, and then having people ask, hey, what is that? <laughs> can also not be the most comfortable thing in the world to answer. Uh, that said, um, bringing it up on SNL, where probably millions of people worldwide uh, during the taping or on YouTube, it can definitely be an uncomfortable time to bring that up. But um, that said, there are also other uh, interesting uh, moments from re reading biographies about Elon Musk that uh, also make it pretty interesting um, and uh, relatable, such as uh, um, having to be resourceful in pressure situations. Uh, for him, that was uh, uh, probably er early to mid-2010s, uh, having to sell a, a house he lived in and a car and then also uh, live uh, in his best friend's place for a couple months or years when Tesla was on the brink of bankruptcy just to be able to keep the company alive. Um, well, for me, you and me, maybe a bit less drastic for something to relate to such as maybe just uh, figuring out how to come up with the money for rent or a house payment, but when it's something that's important to you, um, you definitely learn to have sympathy. Um, and uh, also, <laughs> you also learn to step into your power and when you notice that someone has uh, some similar quirks, to be honest, I'm not a huge uh, enthusiast about making eye contact with other people either. I just do it because uh, apparently neurotypicals really need it, especially in person, but I digress. Uh, that said, um, uh, it's so much fun to have some one uh, that is wired similarly succeeding at their own passion and uh, it definitely gives me inspiration to help 
other people reach their fullest potential, whether it's guiding them through their own business or who knows what else it might be that they wish to pursue. And uh, that said, thank you for watching. And uh, next week, uh, come back, check back again next Tuesday when I go live about the healing energy and what you put in your body. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you again next week. Woo!